Hey, good morning. Hope you're doing great today. What a beautiful day in Nashville, Tennessee. Hopefully it's nice for you as well. Yeah, I got out early this morning like I normally do on Friday mornings and uh, it was just calm. It was beautiful. Uh, it was very peaceful. Fishing a little bit, just kind of relaxing, enjoying the day. Uh, I, st I started thinking about some of the guys in our mastermind and some of the questions that they ask uh, historically each and every week and a lot of it revolves around their family like the guys are in they want to grow their businesses but a lot of it is around their children and where they're a little bit stuck is like how responsible do I make my children and at what age and to be honest with you it's a pretty tough question uh, the kids are faced today with uh, less responsibilities than maybe when I was a kid and then when my parents were children, you know, it was uh, required that they do things around the farm and so that they could survive. And I started thinking, are we doing our kids uh, a favor or are we being detrimental to their well-being long term? And uh, I started thinking about uh, what, what we make them do as far as getting a job or just going to school or, uh, you know, I remember when I was a kid that some of the things at my house, uh, it wasn't optional. Like I had to keep my room cleaned up and picked up and had to iron my own clothes. And, uh, I got a job at 13 years old to make a little money to buy some things that I wanted. And I remember going to my mom and dad saying, Hey, I, really like to get a car, you know, when I get 16. And uh, my mom said, that'll be great. And I, I think you should. And uh, I said, I, I just want to know, like, am I going to have to pay for it? <clears throat> and I never forget my mom saying, uh, well, if you get a car, you're going to pay for it because you'll take care of it better and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and y'all have heard these stories. But Today, it seems like that we're just wanting to make our children's lives so much more comfortable. We want to give them things that we didn't have. And I just want to caution you on that. I, I, I'm not saying that we shouldn't because I'm generous to our family and I love to give things too. But are we really doing them a favor by just doling out and handing out and not making them work and uh, giving them allowance and uh, not requiring them to clean up their room or carry out the trash or feed the dog or mow the grass or whatever it is. And there's varying opinions, right? And there's different personalities with children. And I'm not saying there's a blanket answer that uh, you've just got to say, hey, uh, this, this is the way it should be. But I'm curious to how you raise your children. I'm curious to the requirements, the things that you make them do. I got a call uh, not too terribly long ago from a guy in ISI, Iron Sharpens Iron Mastermind. His name's Jim Jonas. And Jim owns a company, uh, Goat Milk Stuff is the name of it. And they make soap and other products out of goat milk. And uh, he said, we're coming through Nashville and uh, I want to know if you'd meet with... Uh, my wife and my children. And I said, yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to do that. Uh, I knew he had a bunch of kids. I didn't know how many, I think, I think he's got eight children. And I thought, man, this is going to be pandemonium. This is going to be chaos. And I got there and we met at Cheddar's restaurant in Hendersonville, Indian Lake road. And I remember going in and greeting those children and they were from like 10 or 11 years old to about 20 years old. And I'm telling you, it was the most enjoyable conversation I think I've ever had with young adults uh, outside of my own grandkids because <laughs> my grandkids are off the chart. But we started talking about business and responsibilities and chores and things like that. Every one of those children have a role uh, in the company. They have a title. They're like, this is I'm responsible for social media or shipment or what, whatever the case may be. They, they all had retirement funds that they were uh, contributing to. Uh, they, they had like a job, like every day, the, the significant task they were responsible for. And I just remember leaving there feeling so encouraged and so impressed uh, by the Jonas children. And even as of late, a couple of them have bought a house 
recently and and I'm like I can see that plan working really well because they're very intentional uh, they're very proactive with their children they know how to read the profit and loss statement they can read the balance sheet and uh, they carried on a conversation with me like uh, even more so than most adults could from an intelligent conversation related to business. They're all homeschooled and they talked about getting their education and further than their education. And, and I'm like, wow, this is a family that's been very intentional. And then you contrast that with a lot of discussions I have today with uh, entrepreneurs and they complain religiously about the things that their kids don't do, uh, how they lay up in the bed till noon. I had a conversation in Dallas last week with a buddy of mine and he said, man, I don't know what to do. He said, I've got a 19 year old daughter. She won't get out of bed until noon. She stays up all night. She won't get a job. Uh, she's taking kind of a gap year. Uh, she has no clue any direction, where she wants to go, what she wants to do. Uh, and I said, man, listen, first of all, uh, she's living in your house and, and you can't allow her to just lay in bed all day long and let your wife do the chores around the house and you go out and you're making a living and she stays up half the night playing video games and watching movies and on TikTok and, and I'm like, you're the parent. <laughs> I mean, it's your responsibility to go in and set the ground rules. And so I just want to encourage you. I don't want to do any kind of rant. Sometimes I get pretty wired up talking about these things, but just ask yourself the question, are you doing your kids a favor by making it so easy, no job, stay up all night, play the video games, get up whenever they want to, not feed the dog, carry out the trash, cut the grass, weed eat. Like, I just be honest, you're not doing them any favor. They're going to graduate from high school and then hopefully go to college and they're going to have no sense of responsibility at all. And they're really going to struggle when they're in school. They're going to get out in the real world to where they have to get up at a certain time. They have responsibilities that they have to do. And the, 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 young, the young men and the young women today that I'm seeing excelling in every area of their life have responsibility. And I just want to encourage you today to really task your children with responsibility to create and help them create a lifestyle that they want to live where they're responsible and they can go out. You can pass the baton to them where they can carry the torch, they can carry on the family legacy, the family name, the family business, uh, the character, the integrity, the reputation. Let's raise up great kids so they can enjoy a great life. Listen, put some comments below. Uh, tell me, hey, Big A, you're way out in left field on this. We should let our kids just be kids and task them no responsibility or you're somewhere in the middle or you're far, far the other way and you're like, man, maybe sometimes I'm too tough. And to be honest with you, I've probably erred on the side of being too strict, right? And so somewhere there's a, there's a happy place. And so just post your comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are and how we can join together that we can help create some amazing kids, okay? Hey, hopefully you're going to get out this weekend and enjoy it, man. It is just an absolute, look at this. It's just an absolute incredible day today. It's just beautiful. Very limited boat traffic out there today. And it's just absolutely an incredible day. Well, hey, I'm Big A coming to you live from Old Hickory Lake. Have a great day. We'll see you.